Hey guys, so I am back from Florida. We just got back yesterday and we went to bed at like 5.30 with the intention to just take a nap because we were exhausted and we, me and Steven woke up at midnight. We were just like, let's just go back to sleep and Aiden can wake up as early as he wants. Aiden just woke up at like 8.30 so he slept like 15 hours so we were completely pooped but we had a blast. I sound a little congested because I have like a head cold, which I think is a combination of when we went down there, the lady on the first plane behind me was sick, um, and just like the weather change and stuff, so if I sound congested and I still can't hear out of this ear because the plane messed my ears up, um, but I figured I would do like a Disney haul and kind of like share my experience as someone who's 30 years old and just went there for the first time. Um, so the first thing, I have to recommend the Art of Animation Hotel, especially if you have kids, because it was so pretty and like, it's for adults, but it's for kids too, and there's cartoon characters everywhere. I'm going to have, I filmed a ton of stuff, and I'm going to put together some vlogs for the vlog channel, so if you're not subscribed, the link is below. I'll probably, once I finally get them up, I don't know when I'm going to have time to edit everything. But I'll probably post a video here letting you guys know that they're up so you can go watch them if you're not subscribed. Um, so yes, that hotel was awesome. It was so much fun. We had a blast there. The first night we got there, um, our plane, our first plane got delayed 40 minutes. So we ended up missing the connecting flight. We had to, um get on another flight that was going to Orlando so me and Aiden sat together but Stephen had to sit way ahead of us and Aiden hated that flight it was there was so much turbulence he was screaming and I was freaking out silently to myself because I had never flown before this day um, <clears throat> so yeah Stephen has flown a bunch of times and he said that was probably the worst experience I could have had for my first time flying because Every plane we took was massive turbulence, and next time I just want to get direct flights. I don't care if it, how much more it costs, I can't do the plane switching thing. It's, it, it's pointless. Like, it was so hard to find uh, direct flights when I booked it, and like the first flight was just from here, Massachusetts, to New Jersey. It took a half an hour, and then on the way back, um, same thing. So. I don't know, I just, I don't like the connecting flights thing, it's too much of a hassle, especially if you the first plane gets delayed, then you're going to miss the flight. On the way home, um, it was really crappy weather, so we ended up not being able to leave for like four hours, and we were super late yesterday. We were supposed to be home by 12.30, we didn't get home till 5.30, so yeah, that wasn't fun either. Um, first time flying, I don't like it. I would rather have driven down there, but I know that would have, like, wasted a whole another day and a half. Um, that is if we had just driven straight, which we probably wouldn't have been able to do because, uh, we have a two-year-old, so. Okay, so, the Art of, <laughs> I should have written things down, but I'm just, like, trying to get this out. The Art of Animation Hotel was awesome. We stayed there for, uh, Monday night, Tuesday night. And Wednesday night and then Thursday well Tuesday we went to Disney World uh, we went to the Magic Kingdom and another thing I cannot recommend enough is the fast pass because um, Steven has been to Disney World a bunch of times but he never did that before and we had the the magic bands that they give you because we stayed on at a Disney resort and everything is linked to that you can link your debit card so whenever you go pay for food you just scan that and which can be dangerous but you kind of have to keep track of what you're spending whenever you buy something like a souvenir scan that um, and for the fast pass too is linked to that so if you download the app the my Disney experience app it lets you choose three fast pass uh, rides for the day I mean you can do it while you're at the Magic Kingdom, that's what we did. Um, and basically it gives you like an hour window of when you can go ride that ride and you just get right on. Like seriously, I don't think we waited in line for more than five minutes for any of the Fast Pass rides. As soon as we got in there we went right to, um, like we were probably 
one of the first 30 people in line because that's another thing <laughs> that I recommend is actually staying on Disney property because you can get right on the bus in the morning, go right to the Magic Kingdom or whichever other park you're going to, um, and instead of like, I guess Steven said that every time that he's been there you have to like ride the tram to get up to the gates and everything but this bus drops you off right at the gate so you're right there, you get right in. Um, the lady, there was a lady walking around that uh, rented the strollers and she wanted to take a picture of us and she asked if we wanted a free stroller so she gave us a free double stroller for the day um, which saved us 31 bucks so uh, yay for Aiden being cute I guess and um, so once we got in the first thing we went to was the Pirates of the Caribbean there was like hardly any wait for that so we didn't fast pass that one um, Stephen had kind of planned out the day because he's been there a bunch of times and I don't know where anything is there. And so we did that. We did um, Fast Pass for, what was the second one we rode on? We were trying to do stuff that, a that Aiden could go on, obviously, because it was just um, the two of us and Aiden. I can't remember what order we did stuff in. We did... Oh, the second thing we went for, we didn't fast pass that one either because there was no line, was um, the Haunted Mansion. So that one was really fun. Um, then after that, I think we got something to eat. We went on the Little Mermaid ride, which I did fast pass because there was a super long line for that. That was my favorite, like visually and everything. <laughs> the Little Mermaid was my favorite Disney movie. It still is my favorite Disney movie. Um, and that everything's so colorful and uh, I just had a blast. I, I filmed that whole ride because I just wanted to remember it. Um, and we did the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which I, was, <laughs> I hate roller coasters, but that one was pretty fun. It wasn't like a massive, there was no big drops or anything. It's, it's for kids, so Aiden can go on that one. He was tall enough and he liked it. Um, and we, I think we ate again, and then we got on the teacups, and that was pretty much it, other than walking around and everything. But yeah, I recommend staying on Disney property. It was, it was not that much more than staying at a hotel way far away, which would have been more of a hassle, um, or just outside the park or whatever. But a lot of people recommended that to me, and I was like, we're not renting a car, I don't want to take a bus for a long time with Aiden, and... It was just uh, so much easier to be on Disney and just use the bus to get to Magic Kingdom and everything. The, the hotel couldn't have been more awesome. Everybody that, that works there was super nice, so yeah. The next day we did Universal Studios. No, on Wednesday. <laughs> Tuesday we did Magic Kingdom. Wednesday we stayed at the hotel all day. We went swimming. Um, we went around and took pictures of all four different parts because there's, we stayed in the Little Mermaid area and there's also Finding Nemo where the big huge pool is. Um, there's a Cars area and there's a Lion King area so we took pictures of all the big statues and everything. Um, and then on Thursday my uh, brother-in-law's husband came and picked us up and he took us to, you know, he went to Universal Studios with us and um, he has like a, a season pass so he was like all right I'll go with you guys and I'm glad he went because he rode like the Hulk roller coaster and the the dragon one in Harry Potter with Steven because I can't handle that shit um so the first thing we did when we went in there was went to the Dr. Seuss Seuss landing because that was what I really wanted to see I loved Dr. Seuss growing up Aiden has taken to the books and everything and the movies and he loves it. Um, everything there was so cute. Like I was, t I took so many pictures in that area and we went on the Cat in the Hat ride first which Aiden just loved because he loves the Cat in the Hat. His little Cat in the Hat stuffed animal we had to bring with us because he can't sleep without that. Um, <clears throat> so he loved that. We went on, well me and Aiden went on the, the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish ride because they, uh, Stephen and Mike didn't want to get wet, um, and our fish vehicle wouldn't go up and down, so we were just stuck at the top the whole time. Um, what else? We, 
actually paid for the express passes um, at Universal, which were, it was like 60 bucks a person, and we ended, it wasn't even that busy on the rides we went on, so it, those didn't really, I don't know, I wouldn't say those were as worth it as the Fast Pass at Magic Kingdom. Um, it did help for like when they went on the Hulk roller coaster and the Harry Potter one because those were longer lines and everything, but everything else was just um, not, you didn't really need it. Well, on the day we went anyway, it wasn't as busy. So, yes, we went on that, that. we went on the Dr. Seuss carousel. Um, I think we went on everything in the Dr. Seuss area except for the trolley ride because Aiden wasn't big enough to go on that one. He's not tall enough yet. Um, we ate at the Circus McGurkis Cafe Stupendous, which Steven used to work there for a short time when he lived in Florida. Um, and then we... where did we go from there? Steven and I went on the, the Popeye ride, which was so fun. You get soaking wet, but I, th I thought that was like the funnest out of all of them. We rode that and then we rode it again before we left because I liked it so much. And it was super hot that day and it cools you off. Um, what else was over there? We didn't go on anything in the Jurassic Park area. The flume ride looked like fun, but... Uh, I don't like big drops. I don't I just hate that feeling of like your stomach in your throat. Um so they Stephen and I went on the Harry Potter what was it? Some stupid name. <laughs> I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Don't kill me, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Flight of the something. It was it was the smaller roller coaster and I was freaking out and it has a, it has a big drop and then it ends, so it wasn't really that bad because it was just like a two second long ride. Um, and then Aiden and I waited while they went on the, f what is it, the f f dragon something? That roller coaster in Harry Potter. Um, we only went to Islands of Adventure, so we didn't get into the Diagon Alley side of Harry Potter, which wasn't a big deal for me anyway because, like I said, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, and then after that, what did we do? I think they went on they went on the uh, the Hulk roller coaster after the dragon one, and then we were just walking around shopping, and we went on the Popeye one again. So that was a fun day. Um, and then the rest of the after that, we went to my brother-in-law's house. And my, I finally get to meet my mother-in-law. I hadn't, me and Stephen have been together for almost four years now, and I still hadn't met her or my other brother-in-law. Um, so we just get to spend time with them until yesterday. <laughs> I don't know when this is going up because I don't know when I'm going to have time to edit. I have so much stuff to catch up on. But um, <clears throat> we went to, what did we do? On Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, Friday we went to the Tampa Aquarium, no, the Florida Aquarium. Um, Eden loved that, he loved all the fishies and that was fun. Uh, what did we do Saturday? We did something Saturday. Saturday we went to the beach, so I finally got to go to a legit beach with white sand and pretty water and nothing like around here. It was nothing like around here. It's It was very, uh, what do you call it? It was super busy and there was tons of people, but it wasn't crowded crowded. Um, and it was huge, 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 huge beach. Like, it, I couldn't believe how much Aiden loved it. He loved going in the water. Every time we got out and went to go sit on the towel, he would pull me back in to go to, into the water again. We walked up and down the beach. We collected seashells and everything. And this video is already like 17... How long? 14 minutes long, so I gotta get into the the haul stuff here. Um, Alright, so. First thing is me and Aiden got our little first visit pins, and then they gave Steven one that just says I'm celebrating because he's already been there before. They gave us that as soon as we get to the hotel. They ask you if it's like your anniversary or if it's if anyone's visiting for the first time. Um, 
what else is everything I'm trying to I get this at the there's a gift shop in the hotel like when you first walk in so I got this there it's a jack pen I was surprised I couldn't find hardly anything Nightmare Before Christmas but he stands so I'm just gonna stand him up on my desk it's just a pen I will say it I didn't get as much as I thought I was going to get because their shit is so expensive. This was $10 for a pen. Come on. Um, and then what else do we have here? <laughs> I got like all the extra soaps and stuff that we didn't use from the hotel. There's two of these. Each two O's with Missy on them. And then there's two of these. They smell the same, they're just in, one's blue and one's orange, and then the little shampoo conditioner things that they get you. And then they flip open the Mickey ears. Um, <laughs> the day we went to the aquarium, we ate at Hooters, which was just hysterical to me because it's right there and we were all starving. Um, and Aiden's kid's meal came with, like, this was his plate, but it's a frisbee, too. It says, Hooters makes you happy, which is just ridiculous, but... We were hungry, and their food was pretty good, so... It worked. Um... I got my brother a comic book at the... I got my brother a comic book at the Marvel section of Universal. It's just a, a Spider-Man comic. Um, just because I figured he would want something from the Marvel section. Um, what is this? Oh, my, Steven got this for his boss because he's a big superhero fan too. It's just a Spider-Man keychain. They had a ton of keychains in that store. It was like a comic book store slash collectibles shop. Um, I got my grandpa a hat because he loves hats. And it's just a. What does it say on it? Walt Disney World. And it's got a little Mickey Mouse embroidered on there. And then I also got my uncle a hat because he's a hat fanatic too. It's cars. This is Radiator Springs and Ornament Valley. <coughs> my uncle is like a cartoon nerd, so he. The Cars movies and uh, Despicable Me, and he loves SpongeBob, which brings me to this next thing. They have souvenir machines everywhere where you can get uh, like dog tags with your name on them. And they had a SpongeBob one, so I had to get him that, and it just says Pete on the back because that's his name. You can see it like being engraved and everything, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the Dr. Seuss stuff. I got Aiden the Butter Battle book. Steven wanted to have this one too in the Dr. Seuss collection because we didn't have this one and this was Steven's favorite. Um, but I love this. I, I ne actually never had this book growing up either, which was funny because I had pretty much every single one. Um, and then I got this cup for Aiden. It says Universal Islands of Adventure and it has his name on it. <laughs> so I couldn't pass this up because it's Cat in the Hat and it has thing one and thing two. And it's just a little cup. Oh, what's in here? Oh. Um, this is for my grandma because she likes Goofy. So I got her a little Goofy pin. Cuteness. And I got a water bottle, which I, I got it because I was going to use it to, uh, oh, it doesn't even have a spout thing on it, <clears throat> but it's a Lorax water bottle, and I it didn't end up using it while I was there, but it's adorable and colorful, and it's got the truffula trees on there, and it's pretty big. How many ounces does this hold? I don't know. It just says travel tumbler. Um, oh yeah, one more, one more thing I didn't get. 
Steven bought a, a Jurassic Park t-shirt too, but I think it's in the wash because it was right after we went on the Popeye ride and he was soaking wet, so he just bought a t-shirt. I dried like pretty much right away because I had a super thin tank top on that just, I knew if I went on a water ride I was going to want to dry quickly, so I wore that. Um, this cup, this was like my holy grail while we were there. Um, this thing is $17, it was like $16.95 or something like that, but you can refill it at every uh, drink fountain, like at the hotel and stuff. Um, so that saved a lot of money because the first night we went we got like fountain drinks and they were like $4 a piece. But um, with this you can just take it, fill it up, take it, fill it up as many times as you want and you get thirsty when it's that hot and you're not used to it. Like. I'm freezing again now because we came back and it's cold here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have to wash it because it's been floating around the suitcase, but um, it's just got a little, there's a little hole right here, so you can, <laughs> I don't break it. You turn this, there's the hole right there that you can drink out of, or you can stick a straw in there, but just highly recommend these because it's going to save you money in the long run. Um, I would, <laughs> we bought one of them, and I would cheat and fill this up and then put it in Aiden's sippy cup, like with the, the lemonade, <clears throat> and then um, go fill it up again for me and Steven to share, and so I wasn't going to buy two of these, that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, definitely the holy grail of uh, the drink situation while we were there. But that is it. This video is way too long. I'm going to have to edit it down. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next video. Oh! Yeah. I, <laughs> there was one day where I had my brother-in-law take me to Sephora because there's they live right near a mall and I was like, is there a Sephora in there? And Stephen was like, no. He didn't want to go. So we went and I did get a makeup item, but I'm going to just save that for my next makeup haul, so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in my next video.